We're happy to spend a few minutes this morning with Rachel Campbell. And as we mentioned a moment ago, Rachel is the Hamilton County Democratic Party chairperson. So Rachel, first of all, thanks for joining us. Sure thing. Thanks for having me. I know you've had a busy 24 hours. <laughs> It has been busy. And it's yes. just getting started. Were you shocked or surprised at President Biden's announcement? Actually, I was. You know, all indications to the politicos like me was that he was in it to win, and we were behind him 100%. So I was surprised. I'm not really shocked, though. I mean, the polls were were pretty clear on where we were at as a party and we needed to make a decision. What do you think put him over the edge? I think his advisors finally came to him and said, look, this is the bottom line. We have this data and this data and this data, and it all skews towards us being in a really poor position in the fall. I know you were locked in like most of us were to television news outlets mm -hmm. all throughout the afternoon and evening yesterday. Uh, of course, a lot of folks have given Vice President Kamala Harris their overwhelming endorsement. Yes. Several have not. What's your opinion on the lack of the endorsement from former President Obama, uh, Nancy Pelosi, and several other high-ranking Democrats? Well, you know, they wanted to make sure that President Biden had the space to make this announcement on his own, on his own terms, and not feel that he was being pressured from, quote, large name, you know, Democratic Party officials and former presidents. Also, I believe that they want to make sure that when the American people look at this moment in time, they don't feel like anyone put their finger on the scale for whoever the nominee will be, despite the fact that, you know, President Biden himself has endorsed, you know, Kamala Harris for president. Even though some of the more noticeable names going to uh, Chuck Schumer and Hakeem Jeffries have not endorsed Vice President Harris. Oh, I believe they will. It was just a matter of time. Yeah. Where do you think the best place for her to spend her political capital is? She needs to be in states like Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and those swing states that really carried the election for Trump in 2020, uh, 2016 and then for President Biden in 2020. She needs to make sure that she is talking to voters all across this country about the things that are important to them and that matter to them. She's got a very short period of time to make the case for herself, but I'm confident that she will. She has a very short period of time to announce a potential running mate. She does. If you had to narrow it down, who do you think that running mate would be? I'm, I would assume someone like a Shapiro, I think Pennsylvania, Bashir's from Kentucky. Um, someone that really brings a, a perspective that isn't, frankly, you know, a capital person that's in the Washington, D.C. area all the time. I think we need someone that can speak to everyday voters who feel like they can know that there's two people on this ticket that understand their everyday needs. What do you think is the number one issue on the minds of the voters today? Democracy. That's, that's what I'm hearing overwhelmingly. And then second under that is uh, women want to be able to have control over their reproductive health care. That's at the top of the issues list for many, many Americans, not just women, but men too. What do you think another big issue is? The economy. I think that I think the economy probably is besides a democracy actually at the top of people's minds but is at the top of my mind we have a small business my husband and i have a small business in chattanooga and i think about the economy regularly about how we're going to get our bills paid how are we going to care for our family i'm proud that we have such a, a thriving economy right now record low unemployment record high um numbers in the economy right now i'm proud of that but I think it's at the top of the minds of many voters do you think president biden will complete his term yes Absolutely. He's not ill. <laughs> He's not infirm. He's just making a decision that he believes is in the best for our country and for our party. What's it going to take to change the voters' minds that are either independent or undecided at this point? We got to go out and we got to make the case. I don't believe that there's people's minds need to be changed, so to speak. I think they need to be reminded of why they need to vote for the for the democratic ticket look we have a lot of things in our country that need to be worked on that need to be repaired or bettered and i'm proud of the work the biden administration and the harris administration have done to get us where we are right now we have a lot more work to do and i think people are regularly thinking about things like that what do you think this is going to do to the voter turnout in november let's face it it's been a um tumultuous two or three weeks. Yeah. How do you think this is going to translate into the voter turnout in November? Oh, I think we're going to have more voter turnout than we were going to have with President Biden, frankly. There's a lot of people that are fired up about having a woman or a person of color leading the Democratic ticket. Look at what happened yesterday. 
$50 million in small dollar donations in one day to the Harris for President campaign. It doesn't always translate to votes, but it certainly shows an energy that's picked up. Rachel, we hope you will come back and join Anytime. us as your schedule permits. Yep. You've been a wonderful guest and Thank we look you. forward to talking with you again. Thanks. How can we get in touch with you or the Hamilton County Democratic Party for more information? You can reach us at hcdp.us at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and you can catch us at our website at www.hamcodems.com. All right, Rachel, again, thank you so thank much. Thank you for so much. Us. We thank you for joining us as well. We are back after this.